Uh, today we're going to show you how uh, I made this piece. This is for a hood, a project that I've got to make multiples of. And this is part of the inner structure. And what I did is I had these blanks sent over to the laser cutter. And they laser cut out a number of blanks for me to use. And if you look, you can see how thin the cut is right there. So these came to me flat, and I've already ran these through my flanger. Uh, it'd be no different than you using a tipping wheel if you don't have a flanging machine. And <clears throat> this is what I started with. So then I had them at the same time, out of 3A steel, I had them cut me a couple of sandwich dies, I'll call them. These are two plates that lock down it locks the product down so that when we bend the flange, it holds it together. So you can see we've got two identical pieces of the same material that has the same radius and everything as the piece that we're going to be bending. So it's just a simple matter of welding this onto a, onto a plate that I can then clamp to my table or you can clamp it to whatever fits your needs. And then, <coughs> excuse me. Then I just make sure that I clamp the metal so we get good <coughs> holding power all the way around. And then I made, <coughs> excuse me, I made a, uh, I took a piece of Delrin, hair from Sweden. I don't know if you guys have seen his videos. He's got some very good techniques and everything. And I made this out of Delrin. And I put it on the end of a, of a air chisel blank. And... I've actually got these that are made by Streck Tools. They make a series of these and they come in different shapes and everything. And I've used this for another part of the project and I had problems breaking these. And I thought it was poor quality on the part of the tool maker, but uh, upon talking to them, they said I had too powerful of an air chisel. So I went down and rooted around in my drawer, I think, or went to Harbor Freight and got a cheap chisel and this works out much better and I just angle cut the Delrin threaded it and screwed it onto the end of this uh, end of this tool now I'll show you how effective this is with this laser cut you'll notice that there's quarter inch tabs that I've cut in between these slots factoring in that I'm going to fusion weld these after I'm done and I could have maybe made this out of other methods but uh, I thought for expedience and everything else and the number that I'm going to do this would be an easier way to get out of this so I'll show you real quick how I did this I just went along and And in real time, you just saw how easy it was to bend that over. So anyway, what, you get the idea of how it, it bent over real nicely. And then once, once this line was welded, then the other one was very easy to take out of the fixture. And we took a piece that had that same radius, and we just tuned up basically with a hammer, closed the other piece up so that it made it easier to weld. I guess in reality it was like this. We tap this down. This one here was already welded. And you can see the good penetration on here by just simply fuse, fuse welding this thing. Uh, that's why it's so critical that you get, that, get the two pieces closed up real nicely. And the outcome turns out very nicely. And I just lightly ran my sander over this here and cleaned up the edge this way, cleaned it this way, and then just gave it a little bit of wipe in the middle. And you can see how nice this looks. And this piece, 
this piece will end up being this part of the inner structure of the hood that I'm working on. So you can see how that nicely that turns out. And this was just a easy way for me to, to attack a, a problem that was going to involve a number of different units. So many other ways to do it, but this was a way that I tried and it uh, worked out pretty good. And I also did, did these in the same method, same type of fixture, just that it, the fixture had two different radiuses on it. And these were laser cut and I bent them over and this was the, this is the outcome of this. And these, this. This one particular part here ends up being this part of the unit. So there we go. Thank you.